Hey, what's up everybody? And welcome to my channel. Here today I have a 2014 Thor Motor Coach Palazzo on a Freightliner XCS chassis with a Cummins 300 horsepower diesel engine. This is known as a diesel pusher. And today I'm going to show you guys how easy it is to find an air leak whenever your air system will not hold air for any length of time. So the first thing you want to do is you want to get your motor home in a quiet place, preferably not near a freeway or anything where there's a bunch of noise, and walk around it. There's usually little telltale signs of some hissing noises around your coach. Once you walk around your motorhome and you assess the situation and if you hear a hiss from you know not underneath but from the sides try to locate it uh, by walking around as uh, quietly as possible and once you do that then you crawl up under your motorhome <clears throat> excuse me I got a little cough here <clears throat> once you crawl under your motorhome the hissing noise will become more evident but then sometimes when you have a situation like you have two air tanks, there's one air tank, there's another air tank, and about 350 airlines, it becomes a little more difficult in trying to figure out where the leak may be. Let me show you a little trick. It's called soapy water. Okay, just got some soapy water here. And basically what you wanna do is you just wanna start spraying the soapy water on all the connections. And then, When you finally figure it out, uh, wait, wait, uh -uh. I think that there is the problem. So, I have found my air leak. Now, what I'm going to do is, these are called quick connect airlines. I'm going to clean their hose off so, so as to get the wet soapy water off of it. And then I'm going to see if I can push in on the airline to prevent it from leaking air again. I'll be back in a minute to show you if I was successful or not. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just as promised, I'm back with a verdict. After numerous times of manhandling the uh, plastic hose, which there it is right there. Once I get the light on that, there it is. So basically after manhandling the plastic tube, which apparently holds the air uh, from the front portion of the tank to the rear portion of the tank, I'm sure this tank is segmented for safety reasons. Um, after pushing up very vigorously on the hose, I have managed to stop the air leak. In fact, it was leaking from both ends. So I gave it a good shove on both ends, and now it's not leaking. And I will demonstrate this to you. And just to prove the motorhome does have air in it, I'm gonna show you this right here. Listen, we have air. And we have air in, uh -oh. we have air in that tank too. So, let me get my flashlight where it will sit. And let's see here. If it'll sit, will you sit? Maybe not. It won't, It does not like to sit on the axle here. But anyway, <clears throat> I finally got it to sit. So, I demonstrate this by more soapy water. Let's see. There are no longer any leaks on this hose. So there you have it. A little bit of preventive maintenance on the owner's end <clears throat> will more than most likely save you a couple thousand dollars at the Freightliner or Cummins or Big Truck Shop. At any rate, I hope you guys learned something from this little video here on how to fix air leaks on your motorhome. But any, anyway, um, I can't even talk here, but so uh, with that, I hope you guys learned something. And we'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.